Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Cuts. I'm Josh and today we're going to be showing you how to calibrate and perform a manual contour cut using the Titan 1 or Titan 2 vinyl cutters in the Vinyl Master software. So let's start by calibrating our vinyl cutters. The first thing that you want to do is open up your Vinyl Master software and then open up the vinyl spooler, which can be found by clicking the launch pad up above. Once inside the spooler, you want to look at the right half of the pop-up and you will see four tabs going across the top. You want to select the calibration tab that can be found all the way on the right side. Inside the calibration tab, we have several options, but we want to select laser offset full. That will bring up the laser pointer offset calibration window. Here you want to click the print calibration sheet button. Or if you're printing from another program, you can save it as a .pdf and then print from that. Once you've completed printing the sheet, you're going to want to load it inside of your cutter as shown in the image with the registration mark. Once properly loaded into your machine, you want to start the test by clicking the perform calibration test button. This will bring up the Align Cut File Wizard window. In the top left hand corner we have the alignment method. For the most accurate cut possible you want to do the four point method. We're not going to mess with any of the other stuff at this time because we've already loaded the test sheet with the origin point in the correct position. So we can go ahead and press next and it will move to the next area and want us to scan that registration mark. At this point, we are going to want to turn the laser on by pressing the laser button located at the top of the Titan and inserting the pin tool into our blade holder. When we're done with that, we want to return to our computer. We will then need to manually move the laser to the center of the top right registration mark using the arrow keys found on the Align Cut File Wizard pop-up window on your computer. You can also adjust the distance that it moves by selecting one of the four options shown here. Once you have moved the laser into the center of the registration mark, you want to press next. It will then move to the next registration mark located at the top left hand corner. You will then want to rinse and repeat moving the laser to the center of the registration mark using those same arrows in the window on your computer just as before. And it should get closer and closer to the actual center of the registration mark with each one that you input. After putting in each of the registration marks, you will arrive at the alignment complete screen. At that point, the next button will now say cut now. And with everything scanned and the pin tool loaded in, we are ready to go. The machine will then draw a giant plus in what it thinks is the center of the graph. At this point, we should be able to accurately calculate the offset that we need to input into the Vinyl Master software so that it will contour cut as correctly as possible. Let's take a look at what my machine did and I'll explain how to read the chart. You can see that mine was a bit off from the center. To correct this, I need to put the input values for the X and Y scale. To read this, you want to input the values for each scale and we will get those by looking at where the line crosses the scale. The X scale is running left to right and my mark is crossing it right at the negative 11 mark. The other side is the Y scale and it's crossing it at the 26 around the half mark. On the X scale, we're going to type in negative 11. And then on the Y scale, I'm going to type in 26.5. Once we have the correct numbers in each, we then want to click accept and it will take the offset. If you need to dial it in a little more, we can perform the test again or as many times as you want. But now that we have it dialed in, we can perform a contour cut around an image. So let's go back into Vinyl Master and the ability to perform a contour cut can be done in any version of Vinyl Master. So it doesn't matter if you have cut or DSR, it'll work. Once the image has been centered, you will then want to make sure the image has been selected and then click the apple located in the static toolbar up top. This will bring down two options and we want to click the top option called Create Cut Contour. This will bring up a pop-up window, and in my case, because I'm using a .png file, it has a pop-up saying, Images detected. Do you wish to include their auto-traced contours? Click Yes, and it will open up the contour tracing window. 
The default settings you see here on the screen have always worked fine for me. So I just click trace and it scans the image and puts the contour around the edge of the image. If I wasn't happy with this trace, I could then just adjust it and then retrace it until I'm happy. But you can see it did a fine job on this image. I've really only had an issue if the image is low quality, pixelated, or just blurry or something. If you have a file format like .svg, or created the image inside of Vinyl Master and it has already been converted to a vector, you won't have to deal with this step. It'll already be able to tell where the edges of the contour should be. On the next pop-up, we can adjust the location of the contour and the corner style, or even remove the holes from the image if you like. And all this can be done on the right side over here. Once you're happy with the placement of your contour, just click accept and it will take us back to the main screen. Once we're back at the main screen, it will already have the contour and image selected for us, so we can just go right back up to the apple in the static toolbar, and this time we want to click the second option, Contour Cut Wizard. Inside this pop-up, we have several options, so let's go over a few of them. First, you may notice that we have a few tabs up top. The only tab that we need to be in to perform this operation is the Output option, so we can pretty much just leave it on the screen as soon as it pops up. Next, you have your cutting device, and that will allow you to select whatever cutters you currently have installed. You can also access the vinyl spooler from this menu with this button, and then below that, you can have your contour cut mark types that you can select from. I'm just going to use the basic manual marks, but if I was to change it, the preview would also update over here. Below that, we have printing devices, and from there, you should select your method of printing. The first is direct print, and this is what you will use to print directly to a printer that has been installed to your computer, so mainly desktop inkjet or laser printers. Then below that you have your print as PDF, that just creates a print file and opens up your PDF viewer, that way if you wanted to print from that you could. Below that is to save an image option, and that will save it as a .png file or other formats. Then finally you have your save as a PDF. This is what you would do if you wanted to load the file and then print it in a separate RIP software or wide format printer or something. I'm printing with a desktop printer, nothing fancy, so I've got that selected right here. Below that we have our source options, and this is what you're really only going to use to move around the registration marks or change the job name so that you can find it later in this vinyl spooler. Then below that you have your pre-made practice sheets and calibration options if you want to do those again or get some practice, but honestly I just print out my own design on normal paper and test it that way I don't have to waste material and I'm getting practice on my own image. Kind of like I'm doing in this video. Anyway, over here on the right side we have all of our important stuff. A preview of our image with the registration mark and a few tabs and then our skip, print, and cancel buttons. So since I'm printing to a local desktop printer, I have selected Print Direct as my printing device and selected my printer right here. So as you can see, I have a few tabs located down below too. The first and default one shows both the print and cut line in it and that's what I use mostly when I send my uh, print job and then cut job. Now the other options will allow you to view only the print job there and then only the cut job. You know, like I said, the default one has both. So that's what I use mostly. With all of that explained, let's go ahead and hit the print button to send out our print job. Once we have it printed out, I'm then going to stick it back on my vinyl carrier sheet just like we did the alignment form. When we press the cut button, it should show the align cut file pop up. This will show you a picture of how you want to feed the design into your vinyl cutter and a crosshair is the location that you want to put the origin point. With everything set and ready to go on our cutter, let's go back to our computer and press next. At this point, you will want to turn the laser on by pressing the on button located on top of the Titan vinyl cutter and make sure that you have your blade set properly in the blade holder. You will then proceed to line up the laser using the arrow keys and selecting the distance alignment from the align cut file wizard window just like we did when we set the calibration. We're going to move the laser to the center of each registration mark and then press next. After we line up the laser inside of each registration mark, we then get the option to perform the cut. We press next and it will start the cut. Now, if the cut doesn't line up perfectly on your first try, print out another and then gain your registration marks and give it another go. And that's what you need to do to perform a manual contour cut with the Titan 1 and 2. 
It is a little bit of extra work, but it can get the job done, especially if you're gonna be doing smaller runs. But uh, if you're doing printed stickers as your main focus, just save up the extra money and get a machine with arms contour cutting and save yourself the time and frustration. I've already done videos for each of our arms cutters like the Titan 3 Prism Cut and the Laser Point 3 and you can view those. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And as always, if you have any questions about any of the products you've seen here or any of our products, you can reach our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. Every single item that we sell comes with free lifetime customer support and you can reach our support team at support at uscutter.com. You know, if you're tired of weeding, why not take a look at our Forever Flex Off? It works with laser printers and doesn't require any weeding or cutting, uh, and it's a much shorter video. Have yourself a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.